uh, that was a big part of it, uh, and uh, we haven't gotten our hands um, around that part of the game yet against this opponent yet, uh, all season long. Uh, they play uh, a very similar style to us defensively, uh, getting the passing lanes disrupted with deflections, uh, stripping down, um, you know, and they have the ability to be more aggressive on the perimeter with a great shot blocker uh, behind them. So we have to make that adjustment, uh, be more conscious uh, of our spacing, uh, more rock solid with the ball, make better decisions. Um, you know, that'll be a big, a big factor in this series uh, are the possessions, uh, the rebounding and extra possessions off of uh, turnovers both ways. Um, so we hope to do a better job of that tomorrow. Well, not being pleased with the number of turnovers, how pleased were you with the reaction? Because oftentimes you guys got back and nullified opportunities yeah. for them. Uh, we showed a handful of those today that uh, if something happens where we make a mistake and uh, we lose a possession, well, you better be the guy that does whatever you can to save the next one. Uh, don't just let it go down the drain. And uh, We had a handful of those. <laughs> we had you know, 19 opportunities to go back and try to save a possession. So. Obviously, we'd like to keep that number down, but you do have to give them credit. They're, they're quick. Monte Ellis has a great knack for being in the passing lane, uh, waiting in the weeds, uh, baiting you to make a play, and, and there he is with a deflection. Uh, very similar to a few of our guys. Uh, so we need to be a little bit more efficient. Now, when we did execute offense without making mistakes, our spacing was, uh, was pretty good. The ball was moving. We got to our game. Um, but that will be a big, big factor is taking care of it. Eric, you always say that. This team is really good. This is very good. Very great. She's doing that with the quote unquote traditional practice schedule. You know, crazy shit around the practice schedule. So I think a lot of that was based on the schedule. I think that it's better for this team than the playoffs. But Jordan will back and back. We actually have time to address things. Yeah, uh, you hope. I mean, we've built habits that uh, our guys uh, will always come into work. Uh, uh, even today, uh, a big part of, uh, of the playoffs is, is taking care of your bodies. Uh, okay, First of all, guys that are playing, uh, to do whatever you can to spend extra time uh, with the training staff. There's injuries you can't control, uh, but uh, recovery uh, from knick-knack, uh, bumps and bruises, uh, uh, you can be proactive with those. So our guys are in here a couple hours uh, before we even started. Uh, uh, in the weight room with our trainers, uh, guys that weren't playing, they need to do extra conditioning. That's, that's now the next challenge, is how do they stay game ready uh, you know, if they're not getting minutes, uh, and that'll be a big part of it. But in terms of addressing uh, and owning uh, games and trying to learn and get better, our guys have, have developed that habit, so today was no different. There are uh, a handful of areas we want to do better tomorrow, and we address that on the film and, and in practice. We're always stressing not to take LeBron for granted, but you know, as a Christian, it's not something. Yeah. Does he ever do anything to cease to amaze you? Well, you know, it's beyond that point right now. Um, we've had already our, our pinch ourselves in moments, you know, with the best player. Uh, but we don't take his talent for granted uh, because he does whatever it takes uh, to help you win. Uh, last night, it was a, a lot of facilitating. Uh, he happened to score an incredibly efficient game with 9-11 shooting, but he was creating a lot of triggers for us uh, by doing other things uh, and being a recipient of scores at the end of offense uh, or off of other people. Um, and that just shows you his talent IQ. How much of Sanders' foul trouble was induced by what you all were doing? Yeah, we're trying to be aggressive. Uh, but one of them was a blockout foul, another was a, a charge, I, I think. And uh, LeBron started it off by getting you know, an aggressive attack on him. Uh, Shane was able to get one. Um, that's a factor. Uh, you have to measure your courage versus uh, intelligence as well. He has an impact uh, at the rim, and you don't want to just go in there and flail your body against one of the top shot blockers in the league. He'll, uh, he'll punch that back into play. Um, but you do have to be aggressive. Your spacing has to be uh, very diligent and detailed. Um, but him playing 18 minutes, uh, we can't count on that every game. Well, but you have to start with them. Uh, they're so dynamic off the dribble. The more comfort uh, and the more times they're able to get into the paint, the more the other guys get involved. 
Um, but it's a whole lot easier said than done. Uh, they're both lightning quick uh, off the dribble uh, on pick and rolls. Uh, they'll wear it out until they have an angle. Um, and it's tough to be able to contain them, keep them out of the paint, and do it without fouling on a consistent basis. Can you keep them off balance if, if Chris is going to be out on the edges and be that successful from three? Is there another counter for them if you have that as a weapon? Well, we anticipate that they'll make some adjustments. Uh, um, even if they change up some matchups, our spacing is still the same regardless. Uh, uh, we want all of our guys to be diligent to where they are on the weak side. Um, he doesn't need to shoot uh, threes or make threes you know, for our spacing to work. Uh, Chris, in certain situations, just needs to be out there. Uh, he happened to find uh, a couple rhythm opportunities. Uh, that's fine, but uh, one of the other, you know, major strengths of, of Chris Bosch is his versatility. He's not a spot up, primarily just a spot up shooter from three. He does so many other things for us. And you talk about LeBron's versatility, uh, Chris is right up there. Uh, he allows us uh, to do so many different things offensively without having to stress or worry. Uh, and that's why oftentimes he's our most important guy. Coach, Regarding his three-point. Um, I mean, the reaction that he got yesterday from the crowd, I think it was obvious when you watch the telecast, it was obvious in the building, it was obvious when watching the players' reaction. How much extra did he give and how, how much value did he add? Even well, just last uh, he has an impact every single time he plays. You love to see the fans uh, show gratitude and reward him for that effort because the overwhelming majority of of, of Chris's plays do not show up in a box score. Uh, same with Udonis Haslam and uh, Shane Battier. Uh, but without them, uh, it's tough uh, because they make so many winning plays. Uh, and, and that's what it's about. Uh, we're grateful to have him. Uh, I think he's grateful to be part of this situation. Uh, and right now it fits.